How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial slash Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use any piece of art you want to create an image sprite sheet uh, to use in the animations editor uh, so that you can use it in the in the RPG Maker MV engine to change it up even further and use it like as a, if you're trying to create summoning spells or something and basically I'll show you in the engine what we're going to be doing and how to edit that so if we go to um, the animations tab, we get to select images, right? And all of these images are stored inside your project's IMG slash animations folder. And you can basically create this, uh, this sprite sheet yourself by creating a new uh, PNG file and giving it, giving it the dimensions of 960 by 960. And you can see here that I've put one of the, the actor sprites, which is from the big, it's called Big Bosses or whatever. And we could put that inside of an animation and then use that to edit it however we want. And we can even like say we want to make a summoning spell, we can put it on the top right on and then add like some new tabs by uh, new frames by inserting oops, uh, like that. Let's change our max frame to say 10. On the first frame we could put new. It doesn't freak out on me. Put that to normal and then we can go from here and then we'll go to the end and we'll paste a new one here and then we'll edit this to say maybe scale it up or something like 350 percent and then we'll go ahead and between all of them and, and transfer all the data and we can play that and we can see that we've made it scroll from the top right to the bottom left but how you would make this sprite sheet and how you add more things to it is very simple. You could do this in GIMP, Photoshop, <clears throat> and probably Pixlr or Paint.net. There's maybe even Paint. I wouldn't try to do it in Paint though, but there's several ways you can do it. So let's load up that sprite sheet. I've already got it loaded. <clears throat> and what you want to do is get rid of the background. So we're going to make the background transparent. And you want to like turn on your grid. So you press control and, and a single quote, and that's gonna basically toggle your, your grid so that you can see. If you don't have it set up like this, go to edit and then preferences, and then you want to go to grid slices, uh, guides, grids, and slices. <clears throat> Change your grid line to 192, and then subdivision for, uh, 48 uh, pixels, and then that'll set it up. If you're creating this for other things, you would use 48, like if you're creating uh, like your icon set or editing like that you do 48 by 48 um, or even your character animations and, and, and everything like that but for this we're gonna do 192 and that's gonna give us every single like uh, frame of that animation sheet so what you would do is you would load up any image you want and we'll use the marquee tool we'll highlight the whole thing to press control C and then we'll go into uh, the the actual thing we're we're going to be editing press control shift in create a new layer and then we can just paste that anywhere and then we'll be able to move this around see so we'll cut that we can highlight where we want it you can press control plus to zoom in if you need to get better uh, dimensions get it pixel for pixel and then that looks like it's right and we can just paste that right there well, see, that's not quite right, so we're going to have to do re, uh, resizing that. So let's go ahead and undo that by stepping backwards, and let's just paste it anywhere. Let's paste it. Let's just say we'll go like this and paste it right there. Well, what we want to do now is highlight the selection we want, right-click it, and click on Free Transform. There we go. And then what we're going to do is drag it to the top left so that it kind of matches like that, and then use this little bottom tool. And we're going to transform it to fit inside the, the scale of 192 by 192. And now that it's in there, 192, 192, um, we could leave it like that. Or we could even kind of manipulate a little bit more so that we put him. You basically just want to keep him inside the grids. So we can kind of stretch him out so that a sword stays inside this, this thing right here. And if you want to maximize every pixel, you can by zooming in more. So let's say we put him like that. And then we can stretch him out a little bit more toward the right. And then we can even bring him up a little bit more like this. 
And how you want to make him look is up to you. You can make it smaller inside the cell. But we're also going to have options inside of the, the MV engine. So we're going to hit the check mark and say we're done with that free transform. Left click anywhere. And now what we want to do is either merge the layers or just save it as a PNG. Make sure we've got the background transparent. And you can do that by um, just right clicking the background and uh, removing uh, background layer. Or if you don't know, if, there's an, if it's still there, what you can do is click on this little eraser and go to magic eraser, change the tolerance to uh, just try different numbers. I would start with one and then uh, change it to all the way up to 100 if you want. And left click anywhere, make sure you're on the right layer that has the background and it'll erase the background for you. So the magic eraser tool is a good way to do that. So once we've done that, let's go ahead and save this picture. And we've already got it as the 960 by 960 free transformed animation sheet. We're going to select PNG and we already have it in here, but we're going to override it because we've added another cell to it. So we can go back into our project. We're going to have to actually close out of that, save the game and then open up that again and just have it reload in the database. So now we can see that we've got um, another thing added to our animations folder. We can change the hue back to normal if we want to. So let's go ahead and edit and paste that in there. And we can do the same thing, edit this and change the properties however we want. And then we'll go ahead and let's say go to frame 10 and then we can paste him again down here on the bottom right and then edit this to say about 350 or whatever you want it to be and hit OK. We can tween all of the data and say all of the data from all the cells and all the frames and now we play it. Now we've got two animations playing across the screen. Pretty simple um, and you could take any piece of art you want and put it inside that 192 by 192 cell of your animation sheet and kind of uh, use that to create summoning skills and, and other animations. So let's see, uh, what that's how you would do it if you wanted to take an SV, like an SV actor um, sprite sheet. But could we do this with, with even other animations? Well, I don't see why we shouldn't be able to. Let's take this one and let's go ahead and get the marquee tool and let's zoom in with control plus and let's just copy, say, this frame by using the marquee tool and keep zooming in to make it easier. And this is going to let you have more animations on the same sprite sheet. We could paste it anywhere because it might not be the same. It actually was already set to 192, but just to show you how I would do it again, I can right, go over with the marquee tool, right click it, free transform, and then we can kind of move it to where we want it to be. And you could even stretch it out further if you want to, as long as it falls in the boundaries of that. Uh, let's actually stretch it out a little bit more. Let's go right here, and then we'll kind of stretch it out like that, so that we're using even more of that frame of that cell. Cool. And we'll hit the check mark, and then that's pretty much it. We've got that there. Let's go ahead and hit File, Save As. And once again, we're going to save it as a PNG inside of our IMG Animations folder. Save that save that. We can go back into our project, um, save the project, reload the database by opening up the, those little gears and you can see now we have another animation right here and we can do basically whatever we want with it now. We can put that at the top on frame one, go to the bottom and then we could paste it down here. Let's say, let's edit this and we'll say normal and then let's turn the opacity to 150, let's scale it up to like 500, and let's also mirror it. And now what we're gonna do is, we'll tween all of that, the data again, boom. So what's gonna happen is the sword's gonna kind of crisscross halfway through the animation, boom. And now we've added three different animations. You can keep repeating this, creating your own custom uh, animation PNGs, and create your own like whole animation things and and really opens up the the editor for you to do even more things uh, inside of the MV engine and we could call on this animation let's just call it uh, test one 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 and if we go right here and create a new event let's just say that and then this events just gonna show animation and we'll pick on the player and we'll say that new one we just created test one 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 
wait for completion actually we don't even need to wait for completion action button we'll put the player right here take a look at that in game and see how you went from picking any art you want putting it on a 960 by 960 free transforming it to fit into the 192 pixel scale and then boom it's going at 140 frames per second so that's probably too fast to see it very well but you could you could uh, make it 20 or 30 frames if you wanted to even do that but that's pretty much it simple tutorial on how to make your own animations out of any piece of art you want hopefully you like this tutorial it's a RPG maker slash Photoshop tutorial but you could do it in all kinds of different engines and editors uh, image editors so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this please give it a thumbs up make your special requests in the comments below subscribe to the channel if you want more RPG maker tutorials we'll see you in the next tutorial